What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If you've been following me on Instagram, you probably noticed a couple of pictures of a Bronco Sport that I posted. Not, not the right one, not that one. It was a Bronco Sport that we just got in the family. It belongs to my father-in-law. He went from a Jeep Renegade to the uh, Bronco Sport. He wanted to change up things a little bit. So this Bronco Sport didn't come with a tow package. And today, what we're gonna do on this video is gonna go ahead and show you how to install the um, um, tow hitch uh, base itself. No wiring harness or anything. And I'm gonna do it following dealer instructions. This is it. I'm gonna make a video with this car. There's some bunch of videos on YouTube with these Broncos, but I'm gonna make a video later on kind of showing you what options this one has and everything. All right, so this is pretty much what you get from Ford. Again, these are the same instructions that the tech used. Although it says 2021, it's the same for this one. This is 2022. If you don't feel comfortable doing any of this, do yourself a favor, stop watching the video and go ahead and, and, and just book an appointment on the dealership and have the professional do it. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are encouraged to do it, but once you see a lot of parts being taken out, you're like, ah, nah, don't worry. So if you're not the kind of guy that's 100%, you know, onto taking things apart, just, just pay the dealership to do it. All right, so first thing first, 10 millimeter socket, this trim, is the one that you find right here when you open this gate the trim comes off just by pulling off of it it has these little tabs on it be gentle with it so you don't break them once you take that off you're gonna have two screws exposed one and two these are 10 millimeters right here these two guys once you take that off the light this guy right here is only going to be held on by these two tabs one and two that are on the outside there's one right there another one right there pretty much the light's going to be loose on this end one hole right there one hole right here after you remove the two screws pry the light out gently careful don't drop it hitching so it's going to turn into something else and then now pretty much we're just going to go ahead remove some of these uh, tabs right here this is one of them and i believe i might have to remove this I'm not sure i gotta keep looking at the instructions so i can get the entire bumper off so so far that's what i'm obviously repeat the same for that side so one one quick tip about pulling the lights off uh, remember once you take these two screws off the only thing you have left holding the light is these two little tabs right here obviously in the wire harness if you don't have anything to pry with you can pry the light from this end Make sure you use a, a prying tool, the same tools that you can buy at the um, auto parts store to take your door panels off so and that's not gonna scratch your paint. Or anything plastic that's not gonna scratch your paint. Now that you see where the two tabs are, I noticed that if, if, if you just go ahead and, and pry right here, once this comes off a little bit, all you gotta do is pretty much grab onto the light from the side and pull straight back or wiggle it and it eventually will come off. Uh, just wanna let you know, these lights are not cheap. And the last thing you want is, you know, break your uh, your light. All right, so took off the light. There's one tab right here that you gotta take off. This guy right here, okay? I wanted to show you the quickest way and easiest way to get these tabs off. Even if you only have like a little flathead screwdriver, this is totally okay. But if you have the prying tool, that's even better. The prying tool is this guy right here. If you don't have one, if you're in the US, um, any auto part carries a kit. This I do have one, I didn't bring it because I already know that this is enough for the job. These tabs have a little, a little gap in the top right there. If you pry right there, they come off easily. So, one right here. And then you gotta come around and you gotta take all of these off. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing for this. If you look at these tabs, they have a little space. See where my nail is at right there? It's a space enough for a flathead screwdriver to go in there. This is where you pry. You don't pry anywhere else. Cause if not, 
you're gonna screw it out of the taps. And I know they sell they sell these taps at Auto Zone or Advanced Auto Parts, but why screw them up when you can use what you know the manufacturer left you in there for it to use pry up? And then once all of them are up like that, you can just go ahead and, and remove this guy. All right, so all the tabs are out, as you can see. Once all the tabs are out, this first one right here, the holes, the upper part of the zero fender flare, once that one, that one is all the way out, then pry the, this part, pry just enough to, um, you can see, so you can see that screw right there. That's an eight millimeter um, uh, socket that you gotta use to get that one off. Same same thing for the, you know, obviously for the other side. Be careful when you pry this. See the tabs on it? See where the tabs are at? Now that you know where the tabs are at, you know exactly where to pry. Please don't forget to take this this guy out together with the other ones. A lot of, I've seen a lot of other, um, seen a lot of other dealer videos where some techs, I guess they forgot this one all the way in and they rip off everything, so. There, now that you know where the tap's at, you know where to pull. And that's the guy that you want to take off right there. Eight millimeter socket. After you go ahead and remove that screw that I just show you, we're going to move on to the bottom right here. This is where we're going to take out. You're going to take out these screws right here. Where we got four? We got one, two, three, four screws. I believe this is a seven millimeter uh, socket that you're gonna need for this guy, right? Oh, actually, you know what? Four right here, but I just noticed that there's two more on the side and two more right there. Okay, so we got all the screws on the bottom that I just show you. This little guys, I got them all off. Now the bump, now this is loose right there. After that, remember, this is a 2022 model, okay? After that, you're gonna find yourself with a bumper, you know, loose, but then you're gonna realize this right here. See that? How you move and the entire panel moves. So what you're gonna do to get the bumper loose finally, like all together, is one thing. On the passenger side, underneath it, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna take off one wiring harness. Wiring harness right there. Unplug that. After that, see this panel right here? <laughs> this panel right here, you can pry it off. And I'm gonna show you on the, on, the, on the passenger side. See, once you get these out, get your screw out that I showed you before, you can just gently pry this panel off. And then you're gonna end up with a loose bumper, almost all the way. See, take it off. Be gentle with it, same thing underneath it. There's taps holding it, just be gentle with it. On the passenger side, on the passenger side, when you're taking everything off, I talked to you about a wider harness a second ago. Once you pry this guy off, get it off here, do the same on the other side. At this point, your bumper is pretty much only held down by this little side plastic right there. So be careful when, you, when, you, when you're at this point. The, the ideal it'll be maybe for somebody else to help you out, but I'm making this video by myself because for the most part, we all know that a lot of times we don't have the help. I could wait till the afternoon and my son Arnie, that you seen on my videos before, he could come and help me. But I wanted to make the video by myself because again, for the most part, we find ourselves uh, trying to figure this, uh, this project out. So. I talked to you about wiring harness and I want to show you what a wiring harness looks like. Wiring harness is right here. You see that? See this one right here? That's the one you need to take off so that the bumper is completely loose. After you take that one off, you can pretty much shake the bumper backwards. Probably want to hold it with one hand from the bottom. This is really light. Don't worry, this is not heavy. Just take it off and then on that part, we're good. I'm gonna show you what that looks like when it's all taken off. So, this is what what it looks like with the bumper off. <laughs> now that the bumper is off, you can see the wiring harness I was telling you about that you need to disconnect. It's on the passenger side. This is what you need to disconnect right here. 
just gonna keep on going with the rest of the install. The next piece that, that we need to take off is this plastic right here. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, what's it called? Let me see what size is this. Six eight millimeter screws that you need to take off in order for this plastic to come out. Okay, so after you move all the screws off, then just pull the plastic out. I just noticed that there is a tab right there, like, like this tabs right here. All you guys need to do is pry it right here with a flathead screwdriver. You can just pry off and then be gentle with it. And the part is off. See, that's what's in there. So don't be going crazy pulling out. And now you notice one thing. They only install it one. I guess it was supposed to be two and they, they're missing one. So there you have it. After you take this plastic off, the next thing to take off is this metal support right here. There's four screws on each side that you need to take off. These two, or not whatever, two right here. And you see the black tab right there? There's two more facing the other way, so you gotta get underneath it. These are 15 millimeter socket. Four on this side, four on this side, two. And the tops right there, they're facing the other way. So you just go underneath it, remove the other two from the bottom, and this piece will come off. Once you get these piece off, I'm gonna show you the holes right there, two, and then them two that you gotta remove. Same thing over here, that, and then them two. Once you get that off, you're gonna be left with, you know, big holes on it. This is where your hitch goes. One side right there, the other side right there. Remember to put back these two guys, they, they go back in here. So don't forget to do that. So, now it's time to pull the uh, hitch uh, base, uh, whatever you want to call it, and then fit it back in there. If you look at these holes right here, one and two, this is where these guys go. You take this whole piece right now. It's not that heavy. You can do it by yourself. But again, if you have help, it's going to be even easier. So, I'm going to take this piece off and I'm going to insert it into parts in there and then we should end up with the hitch right where it's supposed to be at so once you install the tips i mean once you fit the tips right there what you want to do is you want to push far enough see these two holes right there they want to line up with these two guys right here so when you push that's that's your your guy right there these two with them two holes one thing to keep in mind these right here the fitment is a little tight so you're gonna have to Wiggle it to get both both ends right there till you push back and settle it right where it's supposed to be. Now that the uh, hitch base is settled in place, one thing that I just noticed is this guy right here. I thought this was supposed to be something that you put from the back to secure this in place, but it's a little guy to let you know, don't push any farther than that. So once you have a settle in there, there's another one right here. Once you have it settled in there, this is the bag that four cents with the hitch uh, package. And pretty much these guys are all the same size. Just kind of follow me and I'll tell you exactly where this guy goes. And after this, pretty much, I mean, I'm gonna continue recording the video, but after that, pre pretty much the, the hard part is already done. It's pretty much putting everything back together. If you notice, I don't have a wiring harness because we don't need a wiring harness for the um, application that I'm in, you know, for what I'm gonna use this tow base. But if you want to, you can go ahead and order the wiring harness and hook it up later on in case he wants to tow anything then and I wanna have, you know, the, the lights and, and, and whatnot. All right, so we got this secure. I'm gonna show you where the screws go. I don't see a torque spec for this guys. So just make sure you tie them up as hard as you can. Uh, usually there's sometimes they wanted to tie them up to a certain spec, but I don't see it in here. Let me show you where pretty much you can see here on the instructions. Um, two, three, there's one farther back. I'm gonna show you underneath right now. So there's gonna be the two that I show you that go right here, these two one up there and all the way 
back there there's another one same for the other side this is patch is fastening your side driver side exactly the same go ahead tie them up you know as tight as you can obviously without ripping the thread and at this point we're pretty much all set now we're just gonna go ahead and start putting everything back together starting with this piece of plastic right here So now that we have that uh, plastic piece on, now it's time to put the bumper back on. When putting the bumper back on, if you if you looked over here, you're gonna see that little trace though. If you look on the outside of the bumper, there's nothing that tells you where to cut, right? But if you look on the inside of the bumper, you see the little line right there. I don't know if you can see it. See it? There's a little line marked already. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to have to kind of relocate these two clips or to cut them off and then just leave that flying a little bit so that the hitch um, can stick out. I thought it was going to be marked a little bit better, but that's, that's good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off right now. So here's how much I took off. Took off that much right there. This cable has a little clips that go into the tabs to pull them off you basically just junk them out this is going to be on the on the uh, kind of like flying around like that but it should be should be enough and then remember when you trace around don't go too wide because you want to have these two holes in there don't go crazy wide because then these are going to be flopping around the next hole is all the way out here you don't want to have this plastic flopping around so trace that little line and you should have a nice gap that much just gonna go ahead and put this bumper on and see what it looks like the plastic on this bumper is pretty soft i use a regular box cutter um nice style i don't think you need a, i'm pretty sure you don't need like this is pretty flexible and it's not that thick you don't need no dremel tool or anything so putting this bumper back on again like you saw in the video kind of reverse the entire process pretty much just present it what it's supposed to be push it on all the clips that you saw all these little guys right here that guy this right here make sure that it mounts on the clip when it comes to the edge right here you pretty much all you have to do is put it right in there and push it gently you might want to use a rag or something if you're afraid to um scratch the uh the paint but you'll hear the clicks once it goes into the right spot and then at this point, all I have left to do is put that one screw that I took off on this side, same for the other side, and then clamp everything back together. But I wanted to show you that little piece that I cut was exactly enough for the hitch to um, stick out. So let me put all the screws on the bottom back together and all the ones on the side, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. So one common problem that the tech uh, that sold me the part told me about is that for the most part, when people do these at home on these new Broncos, <laughs> they forget to plug in the harness that we uh, that we took out. So please remember to plug in the harness. So when putting these tabs back here. If you never deal with these tabs before, if you left them like this when you took them off for whatever reason, don't try to push them in the hole like this because you're gonna, you're gonna break them. The way it works is I need to be out. You squeeze this whole thing into the hole and then you push this. I know it might be self-explanatory for some of you, but for people that have never you know worked on a car and never deal with tabs like this, it might be a little confusing. So. Let me show you how that works on uh, this guy right here. Actually, the one on top. See, you push everything right back in and then to secure it, and then you go ahead and push it, and then you're all set. So there you have it. I just want to give you a quick idea of how everything was put back together. Remember all the screws on the bottom. Don't forget those. Everything is right back like we had it. Now, this one light here, I left it. I didn't put it on, I wanted to remind you that when you put the lights on, you only have two screws that you took off at the beginning, remember that one and the one on top. 
and the only other guys that you have is this little tab and this guy be gentle with the light last thing you want is to scratch the light or have it fall out of your hand after you plug in the harness right there line them up with these two holes that hole and that one hole and just push straight forward obviously line these two up and that should be it we're gonna end up with this guy right here one other thing that i want to remind you um the first thing that you're gonna do when you start the install um you're gonna pull this plastic off to pull the plastic off you grab onto this plastic probably from the bottom and right here or you can just use this and the bottom piece wiggle it and pull it out be gentle with it why you want to be gentle with it. you see this piece of metal right here these pieces of metal if you're not gentle enough what's going to happen is you're going to end up ripping that piece off and it's going to end up sticking right here on these holes right here and if the metal is the only thing that stays on that side of, on the light then you're good but if you rip off that plastic with it then you're gonna see yourself going back to your dealership and ordering this little trim and that i have no idea how much it is but i just want to remind you you know just be gentle with it the same way you're putting it in if you feel the click on, on the top and on the bottom and still lose it you might have broke it it happens that's just part of doing things like this but i just want to give you a quick reminder and that's going to be pretty much it remember you're going to have that little that, not little but that plastic that, that piece of metal is going to be um left out you don't need it anymore because the tow hitch metal takes the the part the place of this uh metal and thanks a lot for watching i mean probably none of you had a bronco that i usually watch my videos but if you're new to the channel and you made it this far into the video, thanks a lot for sticking out this long in the video. If the video helped y'all in any way, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe because I'll probably make more videos with the Bronco as you know as, as we go on. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll install a couple of other upgrades and I'll make videos, videos as I, uh, as I make all the little upgrades so in case you guys want to go ahead and try them out. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.